بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا سیریز آف سی او اے کمپیوٹر آرگنائزیشن اینڈ آرکیٹیکچر آئی ایم عائشہ نذیر دا ٹاپک آف ٹوڈیز لیکچر از انسٹرکشن سیٹ آرکیٹیکچر سو واٹ از انسٹرکشن سیٹ آرکیٹیکچر وائی وی نیڈ انسٹرکشن سیٹ آرکیٹیکچر ان اے کمپیوٹر what it does why it is important for a computer system let's see the answer of all these questions in detail so what is instruction set instruction set that we known it as isa is an interface between the hardware and software interface means it's a middleware between the hardware hardware can be your keyboard mouse circuits rom ram addressing modes etc while on the other hand softwares are as we all know that the instructions that we give to the computer to perform some specific tasks using these hardwares so instruction set is basically the middleware between the hardware and software instruction set makes both hardware and software compatible with one another isa the instruction set architectures make the hardware perform task and processes according to the software instructions all the operations that a hardware performed are basically the output of software instructions this is all done just by the instruction set architecture if isa is not present in between the hardware and software then hardware is unable and software is unable to communicate with hardware so it is the main feature of a computer system that makes the hardware compatible with the software let's see other definitions instruction set is a collection of instructions that execute by the processor as we all know that cpu that is a central processing unit or we call it as a processor acts according to the instruction that we give to it to it and these instructions are basically written on the rom computer rom the next the instruction sets are commands for the processor to tell it what it needs to do it define the timeline for the processor that what the processor responsibilities what the processor has to do in different circumstances for example computer power failure and file corruption so in these scenarios the processor must know that what it has to do in such cases to proceed the operations and complete its tasks so instruction sets are basically the guidelines in low level language guidelines for whom for the processors low level language means in assembly language we all know that assembly language or the low level language are basically the machine language that are the machine understandable languages that tells how to execute a function in a system so the guidelines are basically written in assembly language for the processor that tells the processor that how it has to perform how it has to execute some functions in a system so instruction set is the main key factor of a computer system so isa is machine understandable form that assist in interaction between hardware and software makes both compatible with one another obviously the software that we write we write it in high level language so to convert the high level language in low level language we need some source we need some helper so the isa is basically a helper that makes the hardware and software compatible with one another 
it converts the low level instructions into the high level language and software that is in high level language converts its instructions into the low level language that is understand by the computer that a computer can easily understand so to perform operation in computers instruction that are the assembly language mnemonics are written in machine understandable form on rom that processor execute these instructions known as instruction set architecture these instruction sets are written on the rom that is read only memory that is non volatile it means that when there is a power failure the instruction written on rom are fixed are permanent they are not erased by the power failure while on the other hand rom uh, in ram it erases so the instructions are written on rom are permanent so the processor know that what he has to do to perform a specific task according to the instructions given by the computer software the instruction set architecture defines how microprocessor is programmed at the machine level a processor has to perform multiple tasks for example fetching the data from memory executing the instruction decode the instructions and write back the instructions to the memory instruction set depicts how to perform a specific task according to the instructions given by the software so different architectures like intel and intel core to do or amd have their own set of instructions have their own syntax data types and addressing mode at the machine level we will discuss all these things syntax data types and addressing modes in the coming lectures so let's see the examples computer processors use almost the same instruction sets that is the x86 architecture but the internal designs are slightly different intel amd core to do processor has its own instruction sets that have different implementations but sport same basic operations that defined in x86 instruction set so x86 architecture is basically is an instruction set that is adopted by all three intel amd and core to do architectures arm that is advanced risk machine processors are omnipresent in mobile devices like android mobiles or ios they are commonly available in these devices while on the other hand mips that is microprocessor without interlocked pipeline stages processors are risk chips often used in embedded systems like video game consoles high definition editing consoles and graphic designing we notice the three main things about the instruction sets number 1 these are the low level instruction sets these are written in the assembling language that is understandable by the computer these are the middleware between the hardware and software and the different examples like intel amd and core to do uses the x86 instruction set in their systems let's see what type of these instructions are so the different types of instruction sets are take logical operational so the instruction set or the type of instruction set perform various collection of basic operations that the computer must perform the first one are the arithmetic instructions in which we perform the add in which we add two numbers together subtract multiply increments decrements and all that all type of arithmetic operations are performed by the arithmetic instructions the second one is logical instructions 
all type of comparison type operations are performed by logical instructions like and or not the third one are the data instructions like the first one of data instruction is load it loads information from ram from rom to the cpu and then store it store information to ram the third instruction is in that input information from a device like keyboard the fourth instruction is compare that basically used to compare number this instruction used to jump between different ram addresses jump if that is a conditional statement that is basically used to jump between the different ram addresses out output information to device it show produce the output on the screen like the monitor or the speakers there are a lot of more instructions like move input and output we will see all these instructions in detail in the coming lectures and the fourth one instruction type is the control flow instruction that basically define the flow of our instruction set of execution how the instructions will execute in a flow the instruction sets are go to if go return and call